the rise of the Satanists is kind of fascinating. I'm not saying there are Satanists around every corner, that the Satanists are hiding under anything like that. But one of the things that has happened in our post-God culture is that Satanism and, and its sort of weird philosophical offshoots have now embedded themselves all over American society. I don't mean people who literally worship Satan. Hello. I just mean that the political positions and the philosophical positions that are taken by Satanists, like sort of the modern day Satanists, they've embedded themselves everywhere. It's almost impossible not to see the religious viewpoint that is known as Satanism, meaning the worship of the altar of God, the other side of God in sort of traditional Christian theology, the fallen angel, right, who is now rebelling against God. And this is an act of good. You know, that sort of philosophy has, has now diffused itself throughout the society. I don't mean like literal Satan worship. I mean the idea that opposition to God is an act of good. The reason that this comes to mind is because there was a clip that was floating around the internet yesterday from Boston Satan Con. How about new? So first of all, I should mention at this point, the Satanic Temple, the one that was holding Satan Con, apparently has about 700,000 members at this point, registered members. They put out a press release on this, according to statistics published by the Pew Research Center, this new membership milestone ranks the Satanic Temple ahead of worldwide numbers of Rastafari and just under Unitarian Universalism in total worldwide adherence. And so there's a video going around from SatanCon 2023 of a young woman who's ripping pages out of the Bible and throwing them on the ground. She's just shouting as she rips pages out of a Bible and casts them on the ground. She said before doing this, quote, we stand here today in defiance of their siege and destroy their symbols of oppression. <laughs> she also uh, ripped up a thin blue line flag representing the police. A male leader joined her in tearing that thin blue line flag into. They tossed that on the floor while the crowd cheered. And then Satanists apparently picked up the ripped pages off the floor and posed with them for pictures. The male leader apparently said we must build true community outside the virtual. Rebelling comes in many forms to each and their own within their own capabilities and their own situation. For some of us, merely existing one more day is victory. For those of us who can, we must stand up to those who cannot. So the temple, the satanic temple, the temple of Satanism or whatever this, this ridiculous organization is, it claims to be non-theistic. They say that they don't actually believe in a personal Satan, like the supernatural being that would be Satan. That just makes no sense. I mean, it's just bullshit. Instead, they hold these basic secularist principles, but they call it satanic because Satan is the adversary of God and God supposedly does not like these principles. And as you will note, the crossover between the fundamental tenets of the satanic temple and the fundamental tenets of sort of left-wing liberalism at this point are almost indistinguishable, which is why the Satan Con 2023 schedule featured, and I'm now reading you the names of some of the events at Satan Con 2023, deconstructing your religious upbringing with Judas Marduk. <laughs> Fake name, right? Reclaiming the trans body. A, theistic strategies for self-determining and empowerment. Ah, yes, the trans body. Because obviously, Satan is a big fan of the trans, according to the Satanic Temple. Well, you said it, pal. Sins of the flesh, Satanism, and self-pleasure from Dr. Eric Sprenkel. Reimagining Lilith as an archetype for reproductive justice, according to Amanda Barton. And Satanism and the BIPOC experience from Sit Lally and Panel. So just to check off those boxes, that would be... Why religion is terrible. That would be transgenderism. That would be hedonism and masturbation, abortion and racial intersectionality. Those are the things that are being reviewed at SatanCon 2023. There's a reason for this. Here are the seven fundamental tenets of the satanic temple. And the reason, again, that I'm bringing this up, not just because this clip is floating around the internet, but because once you recognize that so much of today's politics, so much of today's value system is built around opposition to traditional morality, you can actually spot where the problem may lie in the destruction of our civil society. The seven fundamental tenets of the Satanic Temple are, one should strive to act with compassion and empathy towards all creatures in accordance with reason. Right? Reason is going to replace, again, these are people who call, call themselves Satanists. Reason is going to replace religion. There is no objective morality. All that exists is what's in your mind. And it's all about compassion and reason. This is the hallmark of sort of enlightenment thinking, post-enlightenment thinking. It goes absolutely nowhere because as it turns out, when you leave people to their own devices in terms of reason and compassion, they tend to have compassion for themselves and their friends, and they tend to utilize their reason to justify their own cruel and bad behavior. Another of the seven fundamental tenets, the struggle for justice is an ongoing and necessary pursuit that should prevail over laws and institutions, right? All of tradition should be worn down and destroyed because we have these higher ideals of justice that we can't actually explain, but it means that everything that is old should just be bashed down. One's body is inviolable, subject to one's own will alone, because all you are is your body and your subjective sense of pleasure. The freedoms of others should be respected, including the freedom to offend. To willfully and unjustly encroach upon the freedoms of another is to forego one's own. Well, the satanic temple presumably does not 
believe totally in the freedoms of others because they're obviously very much pro-abortion. They're in favor of the transing of the children and all the rest. Beliefs should conform to one's best scientific understanding of the world. One should take care never to distort scientific facts to fit one's belief, says once again, the satanic temple that is called the satanic temple and also is uh, is a backer of abortion and transgenderism among children. People are fallible. If one makes a mistake, one should do one's best to rectify it and resolve any harm that may have been caused. And every tenet is a guiding principle designed to inspire nobility in action and thought. The spirit of compassion, wisdom, and justice should always prevail over the written or spoken word. So again, it's this sort of Gnostic spirit prevails over the over action. Spirit prevails over word. Spirit prevails over law. It's, it's feelings, but it's also science, but it's also Satanism. Okay, now, the reason, again, that I'm bringing this up is because the perspectives that are being mirrored by the Satanic Temple, the Satanic Temple is taking itself not from secular culture. I mean, the, the secular culture is not taking itself from Satanism. Satanism, in this particular iteration, is taking itself from just general secular values. And so when you see the identity of the two, that should tell you something about where we stand morally in Western society today. The coincidence between sort of secular morality and Satanism is very clear, at least according to the Satanic Temple. They said they do not subscribe to supernaturalism. So in that way, we do not believe that Satan is a deity, being, or person. As an organized religion, we actively provide outreach and participate in public affairs where the issues might benefit from rational, Satanic insight. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. What is their mission? The mission is to encourage benevolence and empathy among all people. We believe that we should all be guided by our consciences to undertake noble pursuits, guided by our individual wills. Right, the Nietzschean, Superman, it's all will. The Satanic Temple practices non-theistic Satanism. We believe religion can and should be divorced from superstition. As such, we do not believe in either God or the devil as supernatural forces. We bow to no gods or gods and celebrate our outsider status. To embrace the name Satan is to embrace rational inquiry, removed from supernaturalism and archaic tradition-based superstitions. The Satanist should actively work to hone critical thinking and exercise reasonable inquiry in all things. Our beliefs must be malleable to the best current scientific understandings of the material world, never the reverse. So they, they say that they differ only in secular philosophies in a couple of ways. Quote, a unifying attribute of all Satanists is our embrace of our outsider status. Satanists adhere to the principles of individual sovereignty and the rejection of tyrannical authority. Additionally, Satanism is deeply rooted in a rich historical tradition which spans thousands of years in cultures across the globe. We embrace our literary and philosophic roots as part of our religion. These histories and concerns are of paramount importance to us, but are not fundamental components of humanism or other secular philosophies. So basically, they are just secularism, but they like to hook that up with Satanism. Now, again, these two things are not in direct opposition. Remember that Satan as a you know sort of quasi-biblical concept, you know, it differs from Judaism to Christianity, but historically speaking, Satan was the opposite of God. Well, secularism also considers itself in many ways the opposite of God. So there is an identity between the two, which is why you see the values of SatanCon being mirrored in so much of our society. Like the same classes being taught at SatanCon are now taught in third grade at public schools across the nation. And why, why gender is, is a spectrum, why you should be able to trans the kids, why abortion is an ultimate good. The, the value of of, trans, of intersectional identity. Right? All of these things that are being taught in the widespread culture are being mirrored by the satanic temple and vice versa. Because when you realize that secularism defines itself in opposition to traditional religious values, you understand the, necess the necessity of transgressing all the rules, breaking down all the rules, breaking down all the boundaries. And so when I say that Satanism is now diffused through the society, again, I don't mean that people worship Satan. I mean that in the original, original sense, if you read the Bible, like the original Hebrew Bible, when it talks about Satan, it's talking about the adversary. The adversary in Jewish philosophy is supposed to be a messenger of God who, who sort of plays almost prosecuting attorney against man. But the idea of being adversarial toward religion has now been taken up by all of our society, which is how you get to the cultural predations that we currently see, in which all traditional ideas have to be torn down. And I will mention the cowardice of the people over at the Satanic Temple. I noticed one thing they were not doing is ripping the pages out of the Quran. They're very fond of ripping pages out of Bibles because they know that Christians are going to be totally fine with it and, and don't care and are annoyed, but but let it go. You rip the pages out of a Quran and see how it goes for you over at SatanCon 2023. 20, Alrighty, guys, the rest of the show continues right now. You're not going to want to miss it. We'll be getting into the mailbag. If you're not a member, become a member. Use code Shapiro at checkout for two months free on all annual plans. Click that link in the description and join us.